Well, of course, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Many of the women who fight the disease go through a really tough time of losing their hair. So it's, a, it's such an emotional process that they have to go to, through. So this morning, we are talking with Brandy from B. Wiley, Inc., along with breast cancer survivor Julie Kenya. Thank you so much for talking with us this morning. You can see I do want to point out we're all kind of oh, wearing I pink, right? This is a, a popular trend for um, October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, right? Yes. Well, thank yes. you so much. Now, you guys are doing, you've kind of gotten together. You were inspired to to raise awareness with breast cancer. Tell yes. me about that. Uh, recently, while Julie was in for one of her regular scheduled appointments in the salon, I was sharing with her how I had just attended a matrix workshop, and there was a psychologist that's a motivational speaker, and uh, just brought out things that I never really took into consideration. As a stylist, we don't realize sometimes how the power of touch in the salon, we not only touch people's hair, but we literally touch their hearts at times. Right. And as I was discussing this with her, it brought memories back of times that we shared in the salon while she was going through uh, her breast cancer treatments and things like that. And I thought, you know what, we really need to do something now to bring a little bit more awareness to uh, breast cancer um, survivors and those going through treatment, how their salon and their stylist really can be like an added support group. So tell me about this fundraiser that's coming up. Uh, Tapenade Bistro okay. is coming Sunday from 1 to 4. Uh, it's an open house. And we are going to have lots of local vendors and things like that. Just a great place to just come and shop a little bit and socialize. And just women really coming together and supporting each other. So and then a percentage of all of the proceeds will go to pink. And Julie, you were uh, diagnosed uh, several years ago with yes. breast cancer, right? Yes, I what was. Uh, kind of impact did it have on you mentally when, when you would start to notice you know, your hair, losing your hair, thinning out, things like that? Um, I was going to tell the story that I had lost my sister in 2004 and had seen her go through the chemo treatments and had known what was coming when I was first diagnosed. And when I told Brandy, I remember just the look on her face at first of just this enormous concern. Um, and then instantly she just launched into, well, when you go through, when you do lose your hair, we will have so much fun. We will, you know, restyling it as it is coming back in. So it was, it was as if she gave me this forward vision, this uplifting feeling of feeling like I can do this. This is not one of the worst things that has happened to me. And um, because of all of it, I think Brandy and I have just created even a closer bond. She was so supportive. Every time I would go for any hair dressing appointments during that time. And it gives you the it confidence was, too, I would imagine, because absolutely. you probably lose so much of that at first. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's the outward sign to everyone. When I went through my major surgery, no one would know if you are dressed. But losing your hair, everyone could know. Now, I wore a wig. Brandy styled them for me before I ever, you know, would put them on. So I can't even tell you the number of people that had no clue I had gone through breast cancer until I actually, you know, took the wig off and had short hair. And they said, oh, you cut your hair. And then, anyway, it oh. was very positive, very encouraging, very uplifting. It was just a... Um, a great experience to be with Brandy during and Great to have that resource, yeah. right? So, yeah, she's oh, this great. is so sweet. She's awesome. so we'll put all the information about this fundraiser coming up on Sunday on our website, fox43.com. All you have to do is click on the morning news tab. Thank you to both of you Thank for you. coming Thank in. You. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Absolutely. More to come right here on Fox 43.